On today's menu is a highly requested recipe chili chicken. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. And today this is my way of making a delicious chili chicken. I have taken boneless skinless chicken thighs which I have cut into fairly thin bite size pieces. In it goes freshly crushed black pepper. And since it's chili chicken, so I love adding a teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. This is totally optional and you can leave it out happily. Then the aromatics, a teaspoon each of grated garlic and ginger. About a teaspoon of soy sauce. I have used dark soy sauce but you can use any soy sauce of your choice. And about 2 teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. I also added a teaspoon of oil. Mix well and allow it to sit for a minimum of 30 minutes to an hour. In the meantime I will make a spice powder blend that goes wonderfully well in this preparation. These are the whole spices that we need. Cloves, fennel seeds, green cardamoms, cinnamon stick and a star anise. Heat a pan on medium heat and add these spices. Stir the spices continuously on medium low heat till they are fragrant but please be careful my friends that they do not get brown in color as then they will make your whole dish taste bitter and we are not making a bitter chili chicken today. So just roast the spices to wake them up and then immediately take the pan off heat and transfer them to a bowl. Once they cool down grind them to a fine powder like this. Let's make the sauce for the chili chicken. This is chicken stock cube or sometimes it is called as chicken bouillon. I know I am pronouncing that pretty wrong. I like using this as it enhances the flavor. You can use regular chicken stock instead or you can leave it out entirely. Then a fourth of a cup of tomato ketchup and one tablespoon of soy sauce. The stock cube that I have used already has added salt in it. That's why I added only a tablespoon of soy sauce. Then it's chili chicken. So I added a tablespoon of green chili sauce. You can use red chili sauce or hot sauce instead. And finally about half a cup of hot water and mix everything very well. Then I will be making a corn flour slurry. 1 tablespoon of corn flour mixed with 3 tablespoons of water. Mix very well so that there are no lumps left. Coming back to the chicken. Just before starting to cook add about 2 tablespoons of corn flour and a tablespoon of plain flour to the chicken. My friends do not add too much of flour as it makes the outer coating doughy. Then I added an egg and a teaspoon of that freshly made spice blend. You do not want a thick coating of batter on the chicken. A thin light outer coating is all that you want. Now if you find the batter looking bit watery then you can add another tablespoon of corn flour. But please no more of plain flour. See that very light coating of batter over the chicken? That's what we are looking for. So next is frying time. Heat oil over medium high heat. Please do not heat the oil to the point that it is smoking hot because then the outer coating will get browned up as soon as it hits the hot oil but the interior will remain uncooked. Lay the pieces in a single layer and fry them on medium heat. Please allow them to get fried for a few minutes and then turn. Fry them on medium heat till they are golden brown on both sides. We are looking for fried chicken that will be fully cooked. If you make thin slices it will take no longer than 8 minutes for the chicken to get cooked. But please do not keep frying and frying and frying till they become dry because then they will taste just like shoestrings. Fry them in batches and I am into my last batch now. Now my friends do get a taste of a couple of these before they go into the sauce. But please resist your temptation from finishing them all. Ok so I put aside the extra oil left after frying and from there I added 4 tablespoons of oil. Keep the heat of your stove to medium high. I added 2 dry red chilies to bring in that smoky flavor. And then a teaspoon of grated ginger 
and chopped garlic. Do not chop the garlic too fine as then they will burn. You can also use chopped ginger instead of grated one. I do not like ginger saying hello to me when I am eating. That's why I prefer grating it. Next goes in onions. And finally green bell pepper also known as capsicum. You can use bell peppers of any color. Fry the veggies on high heat for a few minutes but not for much as you do not want them to turn soggy and look pale. Finally the sauce joins the party. I added a splash of water as I wanted more sauce. Allow this to come up to a rolling boil. Do a taste test at this point and adjust the seasonings if required. I like adding few whole green chilies. Keeping them whole will not make the dish too hot but the flavor of chilies will be infused in the sauce. Then a teaspoon of sugar to balance the flavors but it is all up to you whether you want to add sugar or not. Then do not forget to add the aromatic spice blend powder th that you made earlier. See the sauce? It is already thickening up. So I added just a tablespoon or so of that corn flour slurry. Add the corn flour slurry little by little as required or depending on how thick you want your sauce to be. And my friends, please keep in mind that the sauce does thicken up more once it cools down. My sauce looks perfect, so heat off and add the fried chicken, chopped green onions, a sprinkle of toasted sesame seeds and just a teaspoon of toasted sesame seed oil. Sesame seeds and sesame seed oil are both optional and please do not worry too much if you do not have them. Finally some freshly crushed black pepper and you are done. Please remember to switch off your stove once you add the chicken to the sauce because you do not want the chicken to boil with the sauce and get soggy. Serve this with white rice or noodles or you know what this goes very well with an Indian style fried rice. I have a video on it that is showing up on screen. Please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye bye.